So, Pat, you mentioned uh, for new dairy, new entrants to dairy farming, could you take us through the, the control systems that's available from Dairy Master? Yeah, so here's an example of our, of our, of our different types of control. You're starting off here with your, your switch load control, which is typically your, your automatic thrust remover, your ACR. Um, then there's a, a middle of the road option where you might want to add um, uh, yield indication, so it basically gives the farm an idea where, where the cow's at in terms of yield. Yeah. You know, especially this time of year when the cows are getting close to drying off, it, 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 it's important for them to know where the, the cows are at and all that. Um, and then when you go up to the top level, you're talking about the Swift Low Commander. This is typically um, in your fully automated plants, um, where you're trying to bring a lot more information into the into the pit and, and, and put it in front of the in, in front of the operator. Um, at the end of the day, I suppose look, the more information you can give them while they're standing in the pit, the better. They're not going looking for that information. Um, as you can see here, for example, uh, it displays the cow's yields. You have things like milking time, her cow ID, what line she's been milked into. Um, we can also work with the likes of ICBF and NMR to bring in microcurrent results. So when the operators in the pit and they swing the arm over, they can actually we can actually display the last recorded somatic cell count for, for that cow, and then you can make decisions from there. For example, if you want to, we'd say, keep the top quality milk going into the main line, you can decide then maybe to use a diversion line to divert the, the poorer quality milk for feeding calves or whatever. Um, the other things you can do as well are obviously you, you can um, enter cow IDs. For example, if a cow into the parlour and she had lost a tag or whatever, or if she was new to the herd, you can enter her ID from here. You can decide to draft cows, so you have the option of, of um, uh, interacting with your drafting system there in the pit, so you can decide what, what pin you want to draft your cow into. You can top up fees, um, you can enter um, CMT um, information, so if a cow came in and she had an issue with a, with a quarter, for example, you can put in information here where you just press this button and you can select your quarter and you can put in, um, we'll say in terms of, it goes from scale of 1 to 5, 5 is, is, is a severe infection, so you can map that, enter it in. The next time the cow comes back into the parlour, it'll alert you to that specific quarter for that specific cow and you say, look, you need to give this cow attention or whatever. Um, so that's, that's just a, a kind of a, some of the examples of what's available. Obviously, this um, talks to our, our meeting program and that can in turn then send information uh, down to the operator, like cabin gates and so on and so forth. So it's, it, it, it's about really, this is based around information in the pits um, in, in terms of the fully automated plants. Um, this, is, this is the option they, they'd, be, they'd be choosing. So. Um, so, so look, like I said earlier, there's an option, look, whether it is an intra-level plant or the whole way up to fully automated, we have different controller options to, to, to suit up. So this is all aimed at efficiencies and data and, you know, the, the farmer can control a lot of stuff from the pit when he goes finishes milking his cows is drafted. Exactly. You know, so it's all it's all leading towards efficiencies yeah. and time saving and that's it. I mean we spoke earlier earlier about, you know, guys being able to reduce milking time down to an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. And I suppose one way of achieving that is that the operator remains in the pit and that their sole job is to is to put cups on. You know, they're not out trying to chase cows, trying to uh, segregate cows, they're not going out hauling buckets of milk, you know, they can just divert. You know what I mean? So I, I suppose it's about utilising the labour units. Yeah. So we're, we're reducing the amount of labour input required for not hauling buckets or trying to separate cows and that. Yeah. You know, just leave the technology to take over. And see with labour, if uh, if the farmer had to bring in some help, if he was going away for a weekend or something, yeah. it's fairly easy to, to get onto yeah, the system. The information is all there. And, and even yesterday we spoke to some of the guys in, in, here in Northern Ireland that do doing recording and it was one comment that they did have that the system is extremely adaptable and extremely yes. easy to use. Um, you know, we don't like to complicate things. When the operators in the pit, they typically swing the arm over. That activates the vacuum. Yep. There's, there's no pressing buttons to start. You, know, you just swing it over, you attach the cluster unit. Um, yes, if you want to divert milk, you just press the divert button. So it's, it's, it's all uh, very, very simple and easy to use. And that is a critical thing because you will have guys from time to time coming in doing like we'd have lots of farms where you might have one operator milking in the morning, there might be a different operator milking in the afternoon. Um, so I suppose you don't want to complicate, you want it yeah. easy to use. And the other thing is well with the messaging, it's very easy to, I, I suppose, get the message out to all the different people involved in the milking process. So if there's a cow to be diverted or if she has antibiotics yeah. or whatever it is, you know, the, the technology will alert. Yeah. The new guy in the pit, uh, or this cow needs to be And there's, there's less it. chance of a mistake being made. And, exactly. You know, so exactly. That, that, and, and that keeps, an, that keeps an eye on everything yeah. for you. Yeah. That's where the technology com comes to the top. So. But it is a point, it needs to be user friendly and, and, yeah. and simple to use, and which, which, which they are, to be fair. And there's a system here to suit every farmer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Pat, thank you very much no for problem. taking the time. Thank you.